you took out about 50 pennies out of your pocket and told me to make a wish as we tossed a penny into the fountain. Afterwards, you asked me what my wish was, and I told you that I couldn't tell you because then it wouldn't come true. To which you then responded, well, I wished that you would be my girlfriend. <laughs> Years ago, I could have never imagined I would be standing here in front of you today, committing myself to you for the rest of my life. From the day I tossed that penny in the Avenue Fountain and asked you to be my girlfriend, my life has never been the same. I never told you my wish, and you've been waiting eight years to know what my wish was that day. My wish that day, as I closed my eyes and threw the penny into the fountain, was that we would be together forever. And my wish is coming true. Eight years later, I finally get to stand here and say the words that teenager me dreamed of saying. From the very beginning, with our parents taking us everywhere we need to go and thinking that trivia crack was pretty cool, to baptizing you and completing nursing school to become RNs together. There's no other soul I would have wanted to spend every moment with. So for the rest of my time, we spent together here on this trip. I, Kelly, take you, Frank, to be my husband. I promise to love and honor you and be to you as the church is to Christ. Kelly to be my wife. I promise to love and honor you, using Christ's love for the church as my example. I promise to stand by you always through the highlands and the heartache, whatever this life will throw at us. I promise to always be responsible for my own arrow, aiming to serve you in every way possible filling the trust bank, and filling the love tank. I promise to remain dedicated and true to you in all of life's circumstances. I promise to continually pray for you, for our marriage, and for God's will for our life to be carried out. I promise to embody 1 Corinthians 13, 4, to be patient and kind, not jealous, boastful, or proud, or rude, to never lose faith, always remain hopeful, and never give up. I promise to respect you and to continuously trust you to lead us in the path that God calls for us. I promise to always choose to love you, agape love, no matter what we are facing. put your needs above my own, in wealth and in want, in sickness and in health, in failure as well as success. I will cherish and respect you, comfort and support you, and forsaking all others, I pledge my love and devotion to you. As God is my, is my witness, I give you my promise. I promise to strive every day to do the same for you. To you, Frank, I pledge my love and devotion to you for as long as we both shall live. As God is my witness, I give you my promise. Now that Kelly and Frank have given themselves to each other by solemn vows before all of us and God himself, and they've shown their love and commitment by the giving and receiving of rings, I pronounce that they are husband and wife. In the name of the Father, and in the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Frank, you may kiss your bride. I take great pleasure in presenting to you, Mr. and Mrs.
May your love continue to grow, your laughter never fade, and your faith always be your guide. I love you both, and I cannot wait to see where life leads you to. I pray blessing and prosperity over you two as you embark on this journey together. I'm your biggest fan. We love you so much. Um, we're just so excited to sit back and watch what God's going to do through you. So if you have a glass, let's put it up for Kelly and Frank Wright. May God bless you forever. Fought their fight to get where they are right now. And everybody's so proud of them. And I just want everybody to toast them for being such great people. And I don't want to take up everybody's time, but I love you guys. Come on, let's go. Come on, let's go. Come on, let's go. Well, today, I don't look at it as Frankie taking you away. From us, I look at it as we have gained a son. So here is to a lifetime of love, happiness, joy, laughter, and growth. I love you both so very much. thought anyone would be good enough for my little girl until we met you. You're the love of her life, her greatest support, and a blessing from the start. You're more than just a son-in-law, you're also my son in heart. Marriage made you family, love made you my son. We are proud of you.